is John T for the Boxing Voice and I'm joined by River Wilson Bent who's just successfully weighed in for his fight tomorrow for the Midlands area title. How are you doing River? Yeah, I'm feeling well mate. Excellent. Made the weight well? Yeah, yeah. It's light work. Good stuff. Well look, it's, you're high up on the card and you're in your hometown of Coventry. How does that feel to be fighting in Coventry? That must be special for you. Yeah, it's great to be back into the hometown fighting in Cough. It's you, brilliant, yeah. Were you in the hotel yesterday as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was in here yesterday, yeah. 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 And the fight's here tomorrow. OK, well, look, we, we had you on the site yesterday at the press conference, but just wanted to go a little bit more, because there was a little bit of needle there yesterday with Idris Virgo. Was that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah there was a little bit of confrontation with us two. How did that um, start off? Uh, I've called him out after my last win, because obviously he's 10-0, and I thought he was saying that he's the best middleweight around here, so I had the bout for the middleweight, so I thought may as well give him a shot at him if he wants to go, but he's just avoiding the fight, like the plague, do you know what I mean? So he don't want to box. And that's all it is really, mate. Now, fair enough. Do you think the fight can get made, though? Is that something you think Mick can do? You both with Mick, it seems quite easy to make if, you, if he wants it. Yeah, yeah, it can easily be made, mate, but I just don't think it's a fight that he would that he wants. It's not a very smart fight for him, I'd admit, but like I say, Idris Virgo, for me, is easy money, and I'm ready for it, and I want him. Excellent. Well, we'll look forward to that one in the future. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, you'll come through for you tomorrow. But the fight tomorrow, you're fighting someone else who's undefeated as well. What do you know about him? Yeah, I don't know a bit about George. I know he's a tough lad and he trains hard and he's, uh, yeah, and that's about it. But every lad I box normally, they're tough and they train hard. So it's, it's nothing that I ain't dealt with before. So anything that he throws at me, I'm going to have an answer back for. So but, what um, Yeah, what? Like, like I say, even say, he's a good lad. I know. So, yeah. Yeah, it seemed all pleasant in there at the weigh-in as well. That was yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what can we expect from you tomorrow? Are you going for a knockout? I know you don't want uh, to give the game plan away, but... Uh, just an explosive performance, so just keep your eyes on the TV. That's what I'm going to say there. Excellent stuff. Well, look, thanks for your time. We'll let you go back and get Santa Week now. You're probably starving. Yeah, yeah good luck bit. tomorrow, mate. Safe, mate. Cheers. Enjoy the video. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon dot com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace